Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we have Super Mario Brothers 3. This is an awesome game, folks. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick. I am on PlayRetroGames.com, and I'm not affiliated with this site. It is a free site. You may enjoy it and play games for free. And I have up, down, left, right, Z for my jump button. Either enter or space, I believe, is the pause. Let me do a quick quick introduction and history tutorial of this game. My opinion, one of the greatest games of all time. Wikipedia's opinion, they agree with me. So, released in Japan, October 23rd, 1988, in North America in 1990. Came out for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Game Boy Advance. Mario and Luigi travel and go through seven kingdoms of Bowser's seven children. They must reach the Dark Land and defeat Bowser and re... Rescue! Oh, I can't write very clear, can I? Rescue Princess Toadstool. So the reason why I read it so fast is because I want to play, people. Okay, I want to play. Like it brings me back to my childhood to play this game. So I want to play it for you guys. I want to tell you what's going on. I want to make it a tutorial. I want to make it interesting. So you want to get coins. You want to get mushrooms. You want to hit the di giant shiny boxes of question marks. And you want to get whatever the heck's inside them. Um, you want to stomp on turtles. You want to make sure that you get the secret things that you need to get throughout the game. So if I ever stop talking and I sound kind of funny because I am actually playing this game while I'm commentating. I'm not going back through commentating and editing it. I am playing this live. I may sound funny, but this is me playing the game. This is real, right? So I need to destroy a couple of these guys so I can show you guys like a mega, like awesome, like trick deal that I can do. Um, you're going to be like, you're going to be like, what is he doing? What, how does he know that? How do I know this? I, I know this because, uh, it's just, I just missed the mushroom right there. I know this because I spent way too much time playing this game as a kid. And even though I'm not using A and B select start, um, I'm trying to just use the buttons that I have and do the best that I can. So if you hear typing, that's what it is, right? Oh, I missed the warp zone. No! <laughs> so anyway, you want to try to get five stars if three stars if you can i think you get some extra guys that's pretty awesome so that's going to be level one we're passing the course as you know i'll repeat it you need to go through the seven kingdoms and try to rescue the princess toadstool from bowser so his seven children guard the seven kingdoms and we're just going to go and try to do some some madness you can press down there and by pressing down you get to sit on the hill and destroy your enemies and not get killed there. So if you want to run fast, I guess on this version you can hold down X to run fast. And I believe there's like a little secret here where, well, since I have, I don't have to slide underneath. I'll just jump. Jump, hit the power if I can. All right, we did do it. Okay, so... Sorry if I'm a little slow at this. It's actually been a few years since I've played this. So we are going to go down the warp zone. I do remember this. And we'll go get coins. Certain amount of coins I believe is an extra guy. So you see my little coin counter at the bottom. You see my score. You see my time. Sorry my phone just went off there. But you can see all the different cool stuff that goes on in this game. Um, so fun man. This is a little bit better graphics than Super Mario 1. Um, if you guys remember Super Mario 1, Super Mario 2, and the differences. I think the, one of the reasons why they said this is one of the greatest games of all time is because it had some upgraded things in this. You can fly. You know, you can get fireballs. Um, you, you have hidden things here. You have a star, right? A star is cool because now... People can't actually get me, right? So I got a mushroom on that one. You want to get three of the same thing. If you do, you get extra guys, like I was saying before. You definitely want to beat the time. I believe if you don't beat the time, 
you will lose. So here is the spade. This one is awesome. Line up the pictures and get a prize. You only get one try. So here we go. I'm going to try to line up three of the... Oh, <laughs> didn't I do just a great flower there? Yeah, professional game playing here, folks. So we will go ahead and go to level three. Fun level. Um, I think this one has another little trick to it. I forgot what it is. Well, look at this guy. Oh, his boomerang didn't come back to him if he disappears, does it? All right, so let's see what we can do here. What is that? Okay, so there is a trick to this. I believe I need to hit this red guy. Get him to go in the middle of all that. And there's something down here that I need to do. Aha, that's what it is. Secret level, right? So, and no, I didn't go and research this on the internet and try to find out all the tricks. I actually remember this crap. So if you remember what, what your kids have stuck in your head, if they're doing homework or if they're remembering video games, our kids probably are going to remember Minecraft. They're going to remember Agrio. They're going to remember Slither.io. Um... They're going to remember that type of stuff. So basically, I kind of skipped through the level on that. I'm not getting the highest score, but I'm trying to get the most levels in um, before we run out of time here for the day. So let's see how many levels we can get through and just enjoy this gameplay. This may be one of my longest game playing videos and screen recordings because I really, really enjoy this game. I got a mushroom, so you can use your mushroom to get bigger if you start small on one of these games. Now this one, this level actually moves, so this is kind of wild, man. And the things drop as well. If you look at games where you jump, kick, um, punch, shoot things, fly, shoot fireballs, evade enemies, jump on top of enemies... Anything like that, collect coins, collect diamonds. Remember that the games that you're playing nowadays were based off of this type of a video game, Mario Brothers. So remember that. Those games are not as original as you might think. They are they are what they are. You know, they're kind of replicas of Mario Brothers, Sonic the Hedgehog, Mega Man, um, replicas of Galaga, replicas of Frogger. Replicas of Pong, replicas of Pac-Man, uh, the replicas of all these older games, and basically they just improved the graphics and made it their own with different consoles, you know, Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation, Microsoft, Xbox, um, then you go to these first-person shooters, well, go back to original shooting games, you know, go back to Contra. Go back to Duke Nukem. Go back to games that were just simple shooters. Uh, you guys could probably list some army games that came out on Sega. Look at this level. Look at this little castle that we're dealing with right now. Isn't this insane? Doesn't this bring you back memories? Um, just for information only. Now I got fireballs. What's up now? Yeah, you like fireballs? So just for information only. Information only. And I can barely talk while I play. I'm so excited to be on the castle level. Isn't that crazy? Um, information only. Wow. I can't even talk on the castle level. So now, this is an instance where I have shrunken. Now, I believe, yes, I want to get bigger. So I can use that mushroom that I collected by getting three different things on the levels. You try to match them up, obviously, but... So I was saying something about information only, and I have no idea what I was going to say. But I want you guys to go type in free games, go to Google, go to any retro game site. I want you guys to go and play it. And remember, all these games that you guys played as kids, if you're a kid watching this, they got this game from games like this. So if you're older, nostalgic, 
trying to bring back your childhood type gamer like I am, um, man, just go play this game and remember playing with it, you know, when you're a kid. And just remember, these guys actually come back to life. It's crazy. So bring back some memories and go play this. You know, I encourage you, you know, time after work, time after school, go play it. If you're kids, you know, make sure you okay it with your mom and dad. You know, obviously, I remember how to duck over here. The door should pop up if I remember right. There it is. So go play it. Go enjoy yourself. It's super fun, man. I, I hope you guys enjoy this game as much as I do. I believe I have to jump on this guy. This is one of the level bosses. So here he goes, right? All right, we got him once. And got him twice. And third time's the charm, is it? Yeah, we got the question mark. Super awesome. So we passed this little castle level, and it looks like, ooh, look at this guy. So I think we have to fight this guy and we get some kind of prize, if I remember right. Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, okay, well, that was interesting. And it still has a timer on this. You see that? It goes 186, 185, 184, 183, 182, all the way down to the 180s, all this stuff, 170s. So I have a star. That's interesting. Maybe I can use this star to start the next level. Shall we? I think we shall. Let's start out with a star. Oh, of course. And then we're just, you know, already rolling down, which means we could obviously beat them, but I'll take it. That is a little under, oh, a little water level. Oh, look at this little secret here. So if they're red, you know that if you jump on them and you press the Z button, you could do a super jump, go up to this level where you try to get more coins, and obviously collecting the gold coinage is going to help you with extra guys, points, and such. How fun is that? Man. I love playing this game. You know, literally, if I didn't have a job and if I didn't have, you know, to provide for my family like this, if I had another source of income, I would play video games. I would rate them. I would talk about them. I would show all the different secret things you can do. And I would make it a living, man. This is the way that you can really have fun. And this is like bringing back your childhood right here. So. Not saying I'm the best video game player in the world, but I can do the commentary and I can make you want to play this game, make you want to enjoy it. We passed the course. You got a card. Well, thank you. Thank you for giving me that card. Shall we go get the N, whatever the N is? Flip over any two cards and see if they match. Miss twice and you're out. All right. Well, we'll try that one. I don't want to miss twice, but there's like a lot of cards here. Ah, that worked out good. Let's try, oh, would it be right next to it? So there's a 10, a uh, 10 and a treasure box. We don't know what this one is. Okay, so I don't know if we got anything. Let's see. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll get bigger. Let's go here. And at least the screen's not moving this time, so we could just go through, talk about it. Let's get some coins. Let's stomp on this guy. Now, this is a little, small little area, isn't it? All right, let's see what this is. Yes, we do need that, folks. Let's go get this. So you see, it's all kind of elementary, all kind of basic. And the only reason why I say basic is because I've done this. Oh, done this so much that I know how to go down. That's funny. <laughs> I hope there's unlimited lives on this, man, because I love this game. I could play this game forever. So here we go. All right, going. Oh, almost got nailed by him. Now, I think if I won't be able to get a leaf because I'm s ah, I'm small. So I need to be able to get past this. Do I have any? I don't have anything to get bigger. So mushrooms make you bigger. Can't use it. It's harder with eight. I don't have a B button. So I have to like use my ring finger and the jump finger on the keyboard. I know that's a lame excuse, but when you don't actually play it, ooh, continue. I will continue. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh no. Look at all the levels you got to do again. Wow. So this makes you reset it. Oh my gosh. 
All right. Well, I don't know if I'm going to put you guys through this level again. So fun. Super Mario Brothers 3. I am going to continue playing and I'm going to end this video. Subscribe, like, comment, share. I hope you guys learned a little bit about Super Mario Brothers 3 and the tutorial and the gameplay. See you guys for the next video.